So today I'm talking about one of the hottest artists right now, and that's Clayton Crane, also one of my favorites. Let's go take a look. As you probably know, Clayton Crane has been uh, really hot over the past couple years. It feels like, and it's 2020 right now, he's just picking up steam. Um, and really, he's almost exclusively doing these variants for stores. Um, occasionally, you can see him do a cover um, for Venom or something like that. But really, right now, he does exclusives. These two comics are his very first ones, and he used Clayton Crane with a K. Uh, this Shadow Man 16 is the first one. Uh, this is the retailer review copy and uh, the color copy. You can find them uh, on eBay. Uh, you just have to look for them. Uh, they range in prices because generally um, there's not many. So, you, you know, sometimes they're up there for literally hundreds of dollars. I was able to get each of these for under $10. So, but maybe that was because uh, he wasn't as popular as he is now. But something to look for because this is his first uh, first cover. Oh, so this one, a lot of people, including myself, I didn't, uh, I mean, I knew years ago, but initially I did not know that uh, Clayton Crane was involved with this one, but he was a penciler on it. Um, I was lucky enough, and you saw, probably saw one of my other videos, I got this very recently. Uh, signed on the bottom here, and uh, this is a good one because it's a grail. This is 2018, and um, you know, this one really is, and he even said it when I, when I met him, he said this is really one of the, this cover really got him going. And, uh, and not only that, he said that his uh, infinity signature is what he calls it, rainbow signature, where he did uh, different colors, and it's really fun to see him do that in person. Um, really is what I think started uh, people wanting to collect his signature. As you know, some people just, you know, grab a pen and scrawl it on there, and I'm not saying that's good or bad it's just what they do he really takes his time and and even in listening to him talk about it he looks at the cover and he's trying to pick colors that match uh where you specifically want him to sign uh he also has had um a number of in-person uh signings in this past year and as we know it's it's there's been the pandemic but he obviously has not been afraid of that because he's been driving everywhere his first tour, I think he went to, you know, 10 places. Kansas City was where I was able to catch up with him. And then he did another tour, which I think even had like 20 different locations all over the country. Uh, I'm assuming he's driving. And, uh, and at each location, he signs and does these, you know, fantastic sketches. I was able to grab one, and so I, I feel fortunate enough uh, to have it in this one. Venom 7 is another key book uh, because it is the uh, cameo appearance of Dylan Brock, we don't know what he's going to turn into, but obviously we're starting to see his significance. And this cover is now kind of a modern grail. Um, it's already being homaged by, by himself and by, by uh, other artists. So uh, I'm happy to have this one. This is in no particular order through 2018. Uh, here is uh, this Avengers one, which is amazing. And... I'm just going to keep moving through a lot of these. So you'll notice that I actually have a number of these signatures series that are in 9.6s. And it, it's just a matter of these books may or may not have, are not keys, but I love the cover and I wanted to get a signed version of them to pay the uh, 9.8 um, expense is, is really too great for me. So a lot of these, if you're patient, and I like to get the virgin covers like this, um, you can pick a lot of them up for under $100, and that's what I did for a lot of these. Once again, this was a little bit ago before uh, I think Crane was as uh, popular as he is now. Um, but, for example, this one, I, I got way under 100 bucks. I think I got it for like 75 bucks or something like that. Incredible cover.
So moving into 2019, once again, these are not necessarily in order. Uh, this one, for me, this Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys the Marvel History, is another modern grail. It's uh, 600 of them. I wanted to get the Virgin Edition. Uh, I wanted to get a signed one. They're very hard to find and, uh, and, and are, are quite spendy now. I was able to get this one in a 9.8, so that's exciting. So this one, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number one, love this cover. There is a version of it, but interestingly enough, um, I can't remember who's here, but it's a different character here in the Virgin one, and in the trade one, there's Silver Surfer. Since Silver Surfer is my favorite character, I chose to get the trade of this um, because Silver Surfer's on it. I may have seen this in one of my, a couple of my other videos. This is Silver Surfer Black number one, um, and this is where you're starting to see him put the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, and I don't know if that's his thing, but he definitely has done it a lot. Uh, and um, this one is great also. Here is uh, one of my favorite characters other than Silver Surfer Miles Morales. One I had to have. Uh, I was lucky to get it. And you can see here he signed it in red to match the red. Uh, I, most of these, other than the Venoms and a couple others I pointed out, I, I was not the person that was there that got signed. I just bought these off of eBay. But uh, that's for some reason, I just love this one because of the red signature on it. So, as you saw in some of my other videos, I did drive down to Kansas City. It was a long drive, and he was selling these Venom 25s. This was the secret variant. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to press it, so it didn't come out with the best grade. But either way, great to get it signed uh, in an unbelievable... Uh, cover, obviously, homage to the Hulk one. Here's a fun uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, another one, um, which I really like this cover, um, but and, I, and when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to buy that, definitely 100%. I uh, bought the, the, um, the, the packs, or the, you know, where you get the trade and you get the... Uh, Virgin cover, which, you know, it's very common that they sell them like that. I do that a lot. And then I sell the trade for as much as I can get. So, and generally they're around $50. And then you pray that you get one that's good enough to be a 9.8. Um, I also pressed this one and it was, it was a 9.8. And it, so this one, I actually got to witness him sign it. And he chose the color to match uh, the cover. What I say to people who are trying to get his comics nowadays is like i said there's generally three stores he seems to be working with and that's uh scorpion frankie's and black flag comics i think i'm saying that right uh so what i suggest is you if you have an instagram account you follow them and turn on notifications now when they go on sale it generally <laughs> They generally sell out literally within minutes, so you really have to be right at your <laughs> at your computer when they go on sale and try and buy them. So that's a little bit of a painful deal, but you know if you're going to try and grab them for cover, even though you know they're selling generally, they sell the trade for twenty bucks, or you can get the trade in the Virgin for fifty dollars plus shipping. That's what you see a lot of times. They have the nine point eight or the nine point eight signed, and those are tend to be rather spendy, hundreds plus, even the signed ones, I think might be 200 plus or something. something. It always varies, but those are something you might want to look at and uh, um, and grab it. Now, the one other thing I do say, and, and, and Crane is one of my favorite artists, but I, I say this to people, is it doesn't mean because it's your favorite artist you need to get every one of their covers. It sounds so elementary, but I know people who just go crazy, they end up getting covers that they don't want and... You know, it's hard to let them go. They can't sell them on eBay, especially when they've bought them for a lot. So just be careful um, of what you're buying always and buy what you want, especially with the store variants. I could probably do my own video on that. That's about it. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I'll talk to you all soon. Ooh.